Hello everyone. Welcome to Red Sis Tech. Myself, Karthik Pondasamy. Today, we are going to learn another beautiful concept called stashing. So stashing is uh, advanced commands, which we can use it in Git. We will see how it goes. So stashing is nothing but the process of storing something in the secret area. So storing something is nothing but whatever you uh, create in your working directory, you want to store it in staging area, right? So once you store it in staging area, for some reason, if you don't commit, which means like if you don't get into local repository for some reason, at the same time, you want to reuse it in future, then you think like, okay, I have to store it somewhere. That is what nothing but stashing. So the process of storing something in the secret area is nothing but stashing. What Git actually uses, Git temporarily stores the uncommitted changes. So the changes which is there in the staging area, which is not yet committed, it, Git is using this stashing area to store it. Okay, let's see this flow diagram. So we have working directory. By having a workday, okay, from working directory, if you want to push it to staging area, you have to give git add dot, right? So let's say you push the change from working directory to staging area. From here, you are ready to go to local repository. If you are ready, then you will give git commit, commit, right? But for some reason, if you don't want to go here, and you want to store it somewhere, right? Then you have you can give git stash. So once you give it all the uncommitted changes, whatever the changes are there in staging area, which is not committed to the local repository, those will go to stashing stashing area. Okay, which will remains there. Okay. So whenever you are thinking, okay, I want to get all the stashing area to local repository, you can say git stash pop. Pop means what it will do? It will take that uh, uh, unchanged items from the stashing stashing area to the local repo and then it will remove in the stashing area. So this is the concept. If I want to know what are the type or what are the list of unchanged and un, uh, uncommitted changes which is there in stashing area, then you can give git stash list. It is going to list out all the uncommitted changes which are already stashed in the staging stashing area. Okay. And there is another command called git stash apply. What does it mean? It is also going to stash it from stashing area to the local repository. It will apply it. But it won't remove from the stashing area. It won't remove from the stashing area. Here it will remove. So this is the difference between git stash apply versus git stash pop. Pop means it will remove from the stashing area after it get into local repository. In terms of apply, it will simply apply from stashing area to the local repository, but it won't remove from the stashing area. So I hope you guys have understood this concept. Whenever you have something like you are ready to commit, uh, but you are not sure whether you can commit into your local repository or not, in that case, what you can do, whatever the changes you did from your working directory, you stage into staging area with the help of add command. After you uh, get into the staging area, you give a command called git stash, which will automatically store all the uncommitted changes which are there in staging area will go to stashing, stashing area. Okay. From here, whenever you want, you can first list out a git stash list, which will give you a list of un, uh, the changes, whatever is there in the stashing area. And then you can give either pop or apply. It depends. Let's say if you want to keep it a copy over there, then you can have, have apply. You can use apply. If you think like that is not required in stashing area, then you can go for pop. So this is the all concept about stashing in Git. Now let's see the Git stash command in practical. So we know that Git stash is nothing but if you want to store something in the secret area, uh, then you can go for stash. Okay. Now let's see how it works. So what I'm going to do from the scratch, I'm going to create some folder called Git stash okay so in this i'm going to initialize a new git here so i'm going to open this in terminal and you guys can see this here how it is going to create all those folders and other stuff and now we can see it, everything in parallel okay now i want to make this as a git folder how i can do that git init now you guys see here it get initialized the git right now i'm going to clear it off so now what I'm trying to do here is I want to make some initial commits and then I want to make some stash commands. Okay. Now what I'm trying to do here is I want to make some initial commit to my repository, which means I'm going to say, let's say touch F1. Okay. I'm just create one file called F1 and I want to add it to my Git uh, staging area, Git add dot. Okay. Now it got moved into staging area. Now from staging area, I want to make it some commit because without making initial commit, if you try to stash it, it will say, there is no initial commit. Let me try it, right? Let's say git stash. It says like you do not have any initial commit. So what I should do is git commit hyphen m. 
let's say f1 added initial commit all right okay cool now f1 has been committed if i say um get status okay everything is on branch right everything is uh clear uh clean okay now what i'm trying to do here is now i just added one file called f1 and then i moved into staging area and then i committed basically i did this path working directly adding to staging area and then committing into my local repository now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get another file and i'm going to add it to the staging area and i get into this path stage stashing it and then going to apply and as well as pop up let me see uh let's say i want to create some file called touch f2 okay f2 got created now i'm going to add it to the staging area Get add dot okay it got added into staging area now instead of getting into commit i want to move it to stashing area right so what i can do with stash that's all you see here the moment i say git stash the file f2 has been moved into stashing area and also it removed in the working directory that is so because if you want to uh, move some of your uh, works to some secret area then you can go for stashing okay now it's in stash okay now if you say git status it says like everything is clean because your local repository and working directory is same because you already move that into some stash uh, some secret area right which no one knows now if you want to get back from here stashing area then what i should do here is i have to say git you know what one more thing git stash list it will list out all the list of uh, stashing you see here f1 added initial commit right this is also stashed okay now if i want to say git stash uh git stash pop okay now you see here f2 has been come back to the working directory now you can commit it git commit hyphen m f2 added back from stash just a initial uh, commit message right you can do that right now you see here f2 is also committed let's see if i say clear it off ls ltr will say f1 f2 and if you say git status it's a clear okay now if i say git stash list you see here nothing is there because the stash has been popped up popped up means nothing but if you guys see here right so whenever i say git stash pop which means the latest one will be removed and then stashed into the working directory which you can get into commit to the local repository but if i say git apply it will still there let's see that in practical as well let's say in order to do that uh, what i'm going to do here is touch f3 okay i just created a file called f3 now i want to uh, get into the staging area git add dot okay now it's in staging area like here yeah like here right now i want to stash it and then i want to apply it okay git stash it you see here f3 has been removed right which means it has been moved to the uh, secret area now if i want to say git stash list it will say f2 added back from scratch right because that is the latest uh, stash what you did right now you are having f3 in the stash area now you want to say that git stash apply you see here f3 has been come back here right now you can able to get commit f3 sorry hyphen m uh, f3 added back from stash apply cool now if you clear it off you go and see lsf ltr okay f1 f2 f3 all are there in your working directory you can see here right f1 f2 f3 okay now if i say git status you see here everything is clean because whatever you have in your working directory has been uh, staged and then committed right now if i say git log it will give you what are the commits you did right you did initial commit and then you did f2 commit and then you did uh, f3 commit right now all things are clear now let's say git stash list it is still going to list out the last one because you did apply not a pop so this is the difference between git stash and apply uh, pop apply and pop okay so whenever you say git stash apply it will apply it but it won't remove from the stash but whenever you say pop it is going to be removed as well as it is going to apply apply to the uh, commit okay it will be available in the remo uh, working directory so this is the difference between git stash apply and pop so i hope you guys have understood this in practical